YouTube family, what's going on? What's happening, y'all? Sunny day here in Detroit, Michigan. It's starting to change a little bit. Michigan can be sketchy. It can be sketchy. We're going to have to get deep in the April before we can go. We got trees and everything else because Michigan will play you. So I'm here with a quick update to give you a little bit of information. The engine is almost ready to pull. I also want to show you one thing right quick. I'm going to have to do some, probably some wiring rework or find another harness. These wires were just seized together, melted. Some of them are exposed. Let's see if you can kind of can't get it to focus too good but this is one mash like and i'm scared that if i do that you know it'll short something out it could make a misfire or or anything that i don't want to happen with a uh, engine and tr new engine and trans going in here so i'm gonna either have to take the whole harness i mean i plan to re wrap it with all this because you see this stuff right here is all crunchy and coming loose i plan to get some uh wrap from uh summit uh put all the electrical tape back on there um so let me let you see the front you know we got the the power steering pump is off I mean, AC is going to come out all at once. I got to get the AC up just to unhook the lines off of it. So I might have to get back into that. Uh, let me show you. Everything that goes on the car is inside the car. I want to show you something. Show you something right quick. A lot of people will say, you know, these cars are complicated, but they're not. I'm going to show you uh, these because I am pulling the engine mounts out, motor mounts, I guess you can say, with the engine. I unhook the bottom two bolts to the motor mounts, and this is what these two are. So these will go back on there. These are the transmission bolts. This is what holds the cross members in it's two of them two from each side these are the shifter lever controls you know the controller to reverse drive and all that um the mounts for the transmission so these are the exhaust bolts i'm gonna have to get some new of uh, these because these are just terribly rusted and I would, you know, hate to have to take them back off. So everything goes in the car that is with this car. So, okay. So we're under the car. Now, as you can see, exhaust, dry shaft is gone. Transmission oil looks like sugar, honey, iced tea. So that's going to get replaced with a remanufactured transmission that I have. And I'll show you that shortly coming up um, and tell you a little bit about what's been done to that. The only thing, as you, that's the shifter that I was talking about, lever. Only thing I have to do now is get these good old catalytic converters out. And let me show you another thing that I find interesting because this is a 2011, you guys. It's not even at 100,000 miles. We're way before 100,000 miles. And look what we got. I'm going to have to, as you can see, that's the inside. So I have a rust hole in the floor. And... I'm going to have to take care of it um, because, like I say, this is Michigan, and you don't want to let things like that um, 
It probably was a heat and shield that is missing now that probably would have protected that a little bit longer from this catalytic converter because, as you know, police cars, they're revving the, the, the pants off of these. So I got that spot. I might have to either MIG weld it because, you know, a lot of people on online I've seen MIG weld doesn't look super technical versus TIG and stick welding so i might be able to get by with just getting a nice little uh gasless mig welder get some uh floor pan patches from summit summit races and sell those patches that you can put on here that are universal and another spot i'm not to worry about is the rear floor pan so I'm going to end up having to take care of all this before I feel uh, at least this part up there. This one, I might can wait and get to it once I get it started. But I want to get to it and uh, do an undercarriage coating on here. The whole body, I want to do an undercarriage coating. That's why the exhaust, when the exhaust kit put on, I'm not going to have a solid weld front to back. No, I do not want that. So, just showing you guys what I've been doing. And hopefully this week, well, should be. I'm probably going to say definitely this week I should have this uh, engine out, setting on the ground. I'm going to do a couple test fits of the header. I'm probably going to have to take apart the stirring shaft which is right here, as you can see, it's not a gobble, a lot of room because, well, maybe because this shield is here, so it looks even closer, but this exhaust, you know, it might not be as bad as I think to get that uh, Mustang long tubes in. So, cause I was just thinking that this plate is about a quarter inch off almost of the stock uh, logs. So, I mean, I might be able to get a decent amount of room with a tad bit of modification so so that's the plan guys I'm, I'm getting at it i've been ordering more parts as you can see you know the last bulk order i got a lot of the uh major stuff so we working it's going to be another couple months tops i say minimum but i want to get it right so stay tuned you guys we gonna you know we're gonna put some na power you know, some tire burning power in this thing. E85 only, high compression. It's going to be exciting, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.